I was searching for your love. Got me talking about your love. Butterflies with Alhamdulillah, by the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are all surrounded by signs as Allah Jalla Majduhu mentioned that there are ayat signs known as ayat of the Quran. Why they are called ayat or ayah as you have heard this is ayah of Quran <coughs> or this is ayat of the surah. Ayah means a sign that it is pointing towards something else. So each verse of the Quran points towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how to gain his closeness, how to gain the kingdom of heaven and how to gain ultimate success because that is what actually everyone wants that they want everything what they desire. The other Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Jalla Majduhu mentioned is inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard wa ikhtilaf al layli wal nahar la ayatin li ulil albab Allah azza wa jalla mentioned about the creation that all the creation which you see around you are also ayat he has mentioned that these are ayat these are indicators they are not the actual things they are indicators everything here is indicating so that is why when we say about science for example the science does not create anything it has not created a law or some material or some atom or any virus or any material but it does it just discovers you see if you remember this word the science and scientists and human being and everyone what they are doing are discovery they are not making or bringing anything new just using the material created by Allah mixing it sometimes using the laws of nature for example if the aeroplanes fly the boats are sailing but who has created the law by which they fly and sail who has created if the messages are getting through on the waves and things but who have created this law and all this actually thing so one should always have this distinction in their mind that the others the creation never creates it only discovers after one or oh for example they would say let me give you an up to date example the the new telescope james webb's telescope for example they, oh it has discovered its uh, first exoplanet what does exoplanet mean it means a planet which exists some in another galaxy or another constellation of our galaxy so it exists somewhere not in our solar system so say yeah it has discovered uh first exoplanet but the same size as earth and thing so does that mean they have created that they have made it or somehow no it was there for maybe millions of years only thing is that after so many thousands of years human being have discovered and many many other things yet are to be discovered and not even known so knowledge of human being is very very limited uh, science or otherwise the knowledge is actually very limited so these are ayat as well around you people the stars the moon the heavens the earth they are all pointing towards something every player every pain in this world every fruit is pointing towards the fruits of paradise that there is something of very high class and high quality 
which this is just a watered down version every pain if you get fever temperature any illness pain it's a reflection it's a sign of the pains and aches and the punishments of akhirah which actually allah subhanahu which allah jalla majduhu has actually created there so these are not basically are the real things they are the fake one that's why allah jalla majduhu has mentioned wa mal hayat ad dunya illa mata'u ghurur all the things and the materialistic things of this dunya which you see allah azawajal says it's a deception is they fake they cannot give you anything absolutely and cannot stay with you uh, as well so in uh, as you know many brothers and sisters they went to haraman sharif and haraman means the makkah al mukarrama and madinah al munawwara now those there are many people who have not been there but they have achieved the purpose and there are many who go again and again and they have not achieved anything and there are many who have not gone even once and they have achieved because those places there they are not the purpose purpose is someone else house is there but allah subhanahu wa taala is someone else so what is the those who have not gone or who have gone and not achieved so that at least they know that what they are missing or they can attain it here as well the purpose of visiting the kaaba and makkah is that the person realizes the purpose of life why i was born because all umrah and hajj what it is it is a rehearsal of meeting allah subhanahu wa taala that how do you want to meet allah or how do you want to die is a preparation for your final journey that you know you do rehearsal yeah i am going to work i have to practice i am playing i have need to do rehearsal i need to exercise i am starting work i need training what about the training when you are going to die who is going to train you for that well this umrah and hajj is actually training how to die make preparation for death and how to meet allah jalla majduhu it's a preparation for that it's a rehearsal for that that's why you leave your house meaning that actually that's you will have to leave when you're meeting allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time of death you have to leave you wear your white coffin then you wear ihram you are answering to someone labbaik allahumma labbaik at the time of death also you are called and you have to answer and you have to go and you go there so in makkah al mukarrama because there is maidan e arafat there where your and my spirits were gathered at one time millions years ago maybe they were gathered and they were made aware of the purpose of life allas tu bi rabbikum there we realize what is our purpose allah azza wa jalla brought all the spirits to makkah and made them aware why you are created and here you will be sent just for temporal assignment temporal assignment for test so that's the purpose of visiting makkah al mukarrama if you visited and you now know the purpose of life and you made something that purpose of life good and well you achieved and if you are still running after other things at that one time you were running around kaaba now you're running around money and women and other things so you st- you still lost it now going to madinah tul munawwara what is the purpose of visiting the madinah tul munawwara visiting there the purpose is how to fulfill that purpose of life how to live that purpose okay in kaaba in makkah you have learned what is the purpose but how to now fulfill it what is the method how i am going to live out that purpose 
how I'm going to eat, how I'm going to marry, there's so many things, how I'm going to do business, how I'm going to live my life, my health, my illness, my good days, bad days, my uh, days of famine, days of, uh, uh, you may say, affluent, days of richness, days of poverty and difficulties, how I'm going to fulfill my purpose in all those circumstances. Well, that's why you visit Medina, look at this personality, Study this personality, know about this personality and they will teach you and how to live that purpose. Makkah teaches you who is the purpose, ultimate aim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Medina teaches you a model how to then live out that purpose. Now in the central theme of Surah Al-Kahf is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Jalla Majdu himself. And also you hear this word, uh, words quite often uh, from scholars, from ulama, and especially in uh, Tariqah Muhammadiyah, we also repeat it quite often. What that, that make your purpose, ultimate aim is the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 